What's going on this morning, guys? Um, go, go, go! He's one of them people. Sit at the green light. Anyway, we are headed to our uh, shower job, our latest shower job, because guess what came in? Shower door! Finally, it only took about three years for it to come in. That's all right. Uh, it's, it's my boy Jonah's fault at Lowe's. Uh, it's all his fault. Uh, it's not really his fault. He's gonna. He's probably gonna watch this and gonna laugh. It's not Jonah's fault. Uh, anyway, me and Coco are going to install that right now. So we're gonna definitely give y'all some. Uh, I should mind. Definitely give y'all some installation videos of uh, how we're gonna do that. Cause uh, we're not too sure yet. It's a different door. We never installed this type of door, but that's not gonna stop us, bro. Um, so yeah. We got about a 45 minute drive. We're gonna head that way. And uh, when we get there, we'll tune back in with y'all and crack this baby open and see what the instructions call for. And I'm gonna take y'all with us. Hey, partner! What? It says, do not discard the narrow, clear, or colored bag. Don't discard it. God, stop. Do not return that to the store. It contains clear plastic. Hmm. They, they didn't look plastic. They look oh, all the clear pieces. All right, guys. So we we breaking this baby in right now. Uh, it's cold, so we jacket it up. Hide behind this cardboard. So uh, we're looking at our instructions right now, getting all our pieces open. So uh, but the instructions. Yeah, you don't need that. <laughs> He's coming back. Hey, that's not your stick, bro. Hit Coco, bro. What'd you do? Sick, 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 sick. That's wild. He just crushes him. My money's on black. <laughs> Nothing wrong with keeping scrap wood in the back of your truck, bro. Got to play with the puppies. I'm pretty sure last time we were here, that dog was like this dog. He is huge. And it's one big buck. Give me the tape. Give me the tape. Give me the tape. Put it down. He's like, no, he's gonna watch me destroy. Alright guys, me and Coco is in a in the trailer office. It's too damn cold outside and the wind's blowing like crazy. We got our extra hand today. He's a free labor, so he's not much help, but he's fun to be around. So we uh seeing what kind of tools we'll need for this. Get everything lined up, go piece it together. And then we'll uh check back in with y'all when we kind of find out where everything goes. A thousand dollars. No, this one's like six hundred. should remember me and Coco did this shower about two weeks ago looking still looking pretty good so me and Coco are working on our hardware right now we got our uh, our metal strips and all our rails so we gotta go ahead and keep looking through the instruction manual and uh, get everything planned out and marked out so So, so far we're looking for our roller guards, or no, our, uh, let's see, what are we looking for? The bracket, guide rail brackets, number sixes, we got them both right here. So, pretty much, um, they're going to screw into the wall through here, and then we'll have all this adjustment to adjust for our wall, and then we're going to set screw it down, and that'll be for our guide rail that our glass slides on, because it's going to be sliding on rollers. So, <clears throat> look at these two. Then we're going to work on mounting our uh, bracket right here for our panel. Get the panel up first, and then we adjust, then we uh, install the door. Okay, guys, so me and Coco got us a plan. Coco is putting our masonry bit on our Milwaukee drill with our handle. We have our screw holes and right for our bracket that are called. Cool, look at these hands, a working man's hand, bro. Um, this is for our panels, our glass panel is going to sit in here and the door is going to slide on the rail. So right now we're mounting our panel rail and then we're going to mount our 
bracket about right here. Yeah, because it, this part right here is adjustable. This is where our stationary panel is going to sit, and this is where our, our um, door is going to slide through. So I'm going to go ahead and drill our holes right now. Mount that panel, mount this, and then mount our rail that our door is going to slide on. All right, you're going to see what we got. I don't know if how it's going to drill or not. We got a quarter inch masonry bit. So we're going to see. I don't know if I should put it on drill or hammer. Probably drill. Yeah, the hammer will crack your shit. Come on, baby. Hardest part is going to be to get it started. Come on, baby. That's going to suck. There we go. If you want bro, grab the camera, get my close up. You can you can flip it. get like probably a little bottle of water and squirt it on the bit this is porcelain porcelain super hard so it's actually gonna ruin our bit if we don't run a little bit of water on it so let's go get some water and get back in guys yeah, so we got this like eight year old bottle of teflon non-stick this stuff is seriously the truth we've used this on so many drawer slides wood applications everything if y'all have if y'all ever see this i promise you it's worth the money just pick it up i'm not sure what you're gonna use it for but trust me you want to have it so we're gonna go ahead and try this cocoa come over camera on the team. Alright. We're gonna see what we can do here. So we can get a little bit in there. Show a little love. Okay. Let's we'll see. I'll just leave it out. Here bro, hold that with your hand. In case you're getting a little bit of all in there. There's no way that our bit's gonna uh, go through that porcelain. So right now, me and Coco are gonna run to the uh, lumber yard. We'll see if we can find a bit that's gonna drill through that porcelain good. Because I don't want to ruin the bit that we have. Because I want to drill through the concrete for the uh, the, the glass glide or glass guide <laughs> tongue twister right there. Uh, so I want to kind of save that bit. Right now, Coco's unhooking his trailer. Look at the raw power of this man. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> He's strong, bro. Y'all better watch him. So, uh, so yeah, we're gonna go run a lumber yard real quick, and uh, we gotta let y'all know what we find, or if we do or don't find something. So, we're gonna go run real quick. All right, guys. So, uh, update on uh, finding a bit. We are about three quarters of the way for being shit out of luck. I would say. Oh yeah. We've tried three stores in a uh, town. None of them have anything close. 
Um, we're trying to, I mean, we're trying to drill through porcelain. A lot, a lot of people have a lot of stuff with ceramic. Porcelain's a lot harder than ceramic, so. Make it a trip to Lowe's. So we're gonna go see if uh, maybe we could find a carbide roto zip bit. I'll buy a roto zip if I have to. So we're just gonna go see. We'll see what Lowe's has, and uh, we'll let y'all know when we uh, what we find or we'll tune back in with y'all when we get to Lowe's. We'll bring y'all in Lowe's with us. That way y'all can check out the selection too. All right, guys, we just got out the Lowe's. Uh, I, I forgot the video. Y'all, y'all gonna bear with me, bro. I'm slacking. So anyway, let me show y'all what we got. We found two bits that I'm pretty sure is gonna work. So first off, we got some some blaster uh, industrial strength silicone lubricant. That way it'll help us drill. And I know these are gonna work because we have two of their bigger hole saw bits, and they they drill through porcelain like nothing. So we got these bad boys. Uh, let me flip my camera around and I can show y'all what they look like. Look like uh, name brand is Linux Diamond. So let's see kind of show y'all what it looks like it's a quarter inch bit and it got carbide on the tip of it and that's what we need because the little bits like the little ones that actually look like a drill bit they get hot and they just stop they stop chewing the end of the, the porcelain so these these are very very strong bits we actually have their inch and a quarter and their two and a half inch bits and i mean dude they drill so good so me and coco are pretty confident that this is gonna work see you get your drill wide open that's how we run them all the time put you some lubricant we got the lubricant bro so we're gonna head head our way back to the shower job and see what we're gonna do all right guys we're back we got our new bit or our drill it actually fits perfectly Boop. coco got the silicone so we we're gonna spray that while we drill we're gonna see how this goes there was, there was a little test okay Nice. All right, guys, we're gonna do that three more times and then we'll get back in with you. All right, guys, so right now, uh, me and Coco are gonna glue our metal strip that goes on the wall for our panel. Since we have the screw holes uh, drilled now, so we're gonna go ahead and put a bead of silicone on that and you're gonna watch us install it. silicone on the back is that when the water hits the wall it can hit this and it won't want to go out the wall so it'll kind of seal everything in there and then we're going to put a few beads after too this is just to get us a good seal on the wall People call them Starhead, Torx, there's all kind of different names for them. We call them Torx because very strong screw. They bite really good. You don't have to worry about the head stripping out like a Phillips. I got the uh, bit on the drill over there, bro. Okay, bro. 
gonna throw the rest of them in there. So while Coco is installing that, I'm also show you all something too. It's always good to be very attentive to the stuff you're installing um, and also read the instructions. So if you look at these, we have to mount these on each side of the wall and our bracket's gonna go in between it for the rolling door to slide on. Well, if you look, the bottom of this is a lot thicker. So, I mean, there's set screws on the top and there's set screws on the bottom. So it's very easy to accidentally install them like this See the difference? And look, your screw holes. Screw holes are all uneven. So just make sure you read the instructions good. Make sure you're very attentive to that. Should have good luck. All of them? Nice. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and get our measurements to set these real quick. And we'll get back in with y'all. Okay, so right now, the little clips that I just showed y'all. They pretty much slide in like this. These are gonna screw to the wall and then we have a set screw to grab the bar from mid moving. So right now we just got our marks and we're gonna check our level to make sure that everything's good before we set it in. So let's see what we got. Get that right here. Okay, right there. And right there. Let's check the top of it. Okay, so now we got our level marks. We're gonna go ahead and mount these and then install our bar. All right, guys, we got our uh, flat bar mounted up. Coco's leveling it right now. How's it look, bro? Perfect, perfect. Would you expect anything less? No, bro. So we're gonna, we're gonna look at the instructions, see what our next step is, and then keep going. For the vlog the last few minutes, because we've been struggling to try to get this glass in. Uh, I will say it's definitely not the most fun we've ever had, put in a shower door. <laughs> That glass is a, a little bit a little bit bigger than 38 sticks, so it's pretty heavy. So that's our panel. And right now we're gonna go get our door and we're gonna work on that too. So yep, having fun, Coco? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so much fun. Good, me neither. Guys, yeah, so great news. Um, me and Coco are on about step nine and we missed step one. <laughs> so let me show y'all real quick. So this right here, is supposed to go on this bar to stop the wheels from that door from you know completely hitting and shattering that glass. Me and Coco was supposed to put this on absolutely first, so now we have to take off the glass door. We struggled 20 minutes to get on, uh, loosen that up, and then completely take this bar off and start from square one. So I think we ought to better put it back together a little faster now, huh, bud? Yeah. Yeah. So that's what that's what we're working on. All right, guys. So we got it up. Um, it's complete. Got a nice little knob right here. Slides against. Make a good little seal. Hey, Coco. Um, we would have videoed the whole entire thing, but me and Coco had to take it back apart like two times. We were fighting with it. There wasn't really time for us to adjust the camera. We kind of wanted to just make sure we can get it done. Um, and it was probably, I would say, an excessive amount of profanity to be posted on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what we are going to show y'all is our first long time uh, water test for this shower now that we have the door. So give us a second. We're going to uh, adjust a few things and then we're going to go ahead and show y'all our water test. How cool is that? Water, water comes off the bench, runs along right here, makes its way to the drain. That's awesome. Look at the drain. Yeah, 
guys, so we got our all installed. We got our water test. We went ahead and wiped the glasses back down. We're gonna go ahead and come back and put us a little threshold right here, just because we didn't have one. Um, the one on our kit was messed up. That's okay. We're gonna come back and we'll put like some little stainless steel uh, pencil molding right here, right on this side of the door. And we're gonna silicone both sides and that'll be our little threshold. That way when you're taking a shower and the water uh, splashes on this, it'll run down and go towards the drain instead of coming back out like it's doing right now. But that's all right. That's all good. So shower door works really good. So we got that up. Shower door, that was our main accomplishment today. I would say it uh, put up a good fight, but we won. Put up a toilet paper uh, holder, a roll holder. We installed the mirror back up, which we need to clean. And we installed two uh, towel holders. So that is going to be it for today's video. Hope y'all enjoyed. Um, real quick, if y'all don't mind, uh, since y'all watching, hit the subscribe button. Drop us a like if you don't mind. Comment. Um, we really appreciate it. Yeah, so do that. Yeah, do, do that, bro. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, that's it for today's video.